Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in strong support of summer food security programs for America's children. Because unlike Congress, it doesn't take a summer vacation. Today in the United States, food insecurity is persistent and rampant. We are one of the richest and most powerful nations in the world, yet one in five American households with children experience food insecurity each year. Any American suffering from hunger is cause for concern. But it's especially troubling to think that so many American children lying in bed at night are struggling to sleep because they are hungry. Thankfully, most children in America who aren't able to get adequate sustenance at home are provided meals for free or at reduced rate during the school year. In fact, 21 million children nationwide rely on free or reduced price meals during the school year. 825,000 of those children are from my state of Illinois. But while we work hard to ensure our children are fed during the school year, we often overlook the fact that many of these same children lack access to these meals during the summer months. Of the many children who receive free or reduced price lunches during the school year, only 14 percent currently access meals during the summer. This is why the USDA's Summer Food Service Program is so important. As members of Congress, it is imperative that we support and promote these programs so families who need help during the summer months can take advantage of them. Recently, I had the opportunity to visit a Summer Food Service Program in my district with the Greater Chicago Food Depository and No Kid Hungry, Illinois. I was able to see firsthand how the program is benefiting children in Illinois and across the country. These programs are working and making a positive difference for our local families. Take, for example, the story of Maria and her husband from Chicago Heights. Maria works part-time at a laundromat while her husband works full-time in a lumber yard. These two hardworking Americans are doing all they can to provide for their children. But times are still tough, and food is getting more and more expensive. To help pick up the slack, Maria and her children visit the Lunch Bus. The Lunch Bus is, is a great program that not only provides lunch for low-income children during the summer, but also provides a safe place for those children to play and meet other kids. There are families all over America, like Maria's families, that work hard every day to provide for their children. But oftentimes, despite their hard work, difficult circumstances cause them to come just short. We in this Congress have a responsibility to stand up for these hardworking families and to ensure no child in America goes to bed hungry. That's why I'm a proud co-sponsor of the Bipartisan Summer Meals Act, which will expand the USDA Summer Nutrition Program to help more children across this country access quality meals during the summer months. Rather than slashing these funds, we need to focus on positive steps we can take to end country, hunger across the country. The best way we can reduce the amount of federal government spending on food nutrition programs is by supporting legislation that creates jobs and helps families earn a living wage. Moving forward, it is incumbent on all of us to promote summer food nutrition programs in our districts and to ensure that Healthy Hungry Free Kids Act, which expires next year, is reauthorized at sufficient levels. As I said, Mr. Speaker, hunger does not take a summer break, and neither should we when it comes to taking care of America's children. I will do all I can to make sure these children have access to nutritious meals all year round, and I ask my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to do the same. Thank you, and I yield back.